Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio from Stella. And this video, we're gonna be showing you how to set up Time Machine, back up the files on your Mac, and then restore those files if those files are lost or deleted. So if you're like me, you've got hundreds if not thousands of files that you use on a daily basis. They could be work files, they could be personal files, they could be your photos, your videos, your documents, whatever it may be, you've got a whole bunch of files on your Mac that you need to keep safe and secure. And the worst thing that can happen is for these files to accidentally get deleted and then those files are gone and there's actually no way for you to get them back and that would be absolutely terrible. Now the great thing is that every single Mac comes bundled with some software called Time Machine. Time Machine is an application that is built in to every Mac that allows you to manage and control and then restore files on your Mac. Back up these files using Time Machine to some sort of an external media. We're gonna be doing this via an external hard drive, generally a USB external hard drive. You back up the data onto that and then you can restore the data from your external hard drive using Time Machine if those files have been accidentally lost or deleted. Now it's very important to choose the correct external hard drive. This is a USB drive that you're gonna be using to back up the data to. Now of course, if you've got yourself a laptop or a desktop, you've got maybe a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, an iMac, whatever it may be, inside this computer is a hard drive. There is a hard drive that contains all of your data. I would recommend that you go and find out what hard drive size you have on your Mac, and then go and buy a external USB hard drive that is twice, if not three times, the size of the hard drive on your Mac. So if your Mac perhaps has a one terabyte hard drive inside, and you're using a lot of it, maybe you've got 900 gig worth of data on your Mac. Well, getting yourself an external hard drive that is one terabyte will ensure, yes, that you can back up all of that data, but you're only gonna be able to do one version, and it's gonna fill up quite quickly, and especially if you wanna keep Keep those backups for a long time. You wanna make sure that you have multiple copies, multiple days, months, years worth of data so that you can go back in time and recover any of these days, then the bigger the hard drive, the better. So you've got a two terabyte or a three terabyte hard drive to fill in all of that data, that is great. So really it's up to you how much you wanna spend on an external hard drive, but the bigger the better because you'll be able to store a lot more of your backed up data. So with your Mac running, get yourself your external hard drive plugged in to your USB port on the side of your Mac. So plug that hard drive in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Time Machine. It will then show up within Time Machine and you can select that hard drive to be your primary data hard drive where all of your backups are going to be copied to. Now the first backup will take some time. Because you've never done a backup to this external hard drive before, it may take a lot of time. And the more data, of course, that you've got on your Mac, the longer that backup will take. But please be patient. Have that hard drive plugged in and let Time Machine do its thing. It will then copy all the data from your Mac and back it up to that external hard drive. And with the first backup done, the next backup will be a lot quicker. So what you can do from here is you could leave that hard drive permanently plugged into your Mac if you really want to. That way, anytime that Time Machine runs, the hard drive is already there and it just backs up to that hard drive. But sometimes it's a good idea to actually get that hard drive and put it somewhere else. Give it maybe to a friend or a family. Get it outside of your house, outside of your business. Because the last thing that you wanna happen is that you've got your computer with all of your data and your hard drive right next to your computer and then maybe there's a fire or something or there's flooding, something happens. You don't want both your Mac and your backup hard drive to both be lost. So it's always good to just back up all of your data using Time Machine and then get that hard drive and give it to somebody else. When you're then ready to do another backup, bring that hard drive back, plug it in to the side of your Mac open up Time Machine and then perform another backup. That new backup will be a lot quicker because it'll only back up the data that has changed or new data that has been added. 
To then recover files, plug that hard drive in, you then open up the Time Machine software within the applications area on your Mac within the Finder, and you can then go back in time to the specific day, to the specific time when that backup took place. So if a backup was deleted on a specific day, you can go through your Time Machine history and locate that particular file. If the file has been deleted, you can easily restore it back. If a folder has been deleted, you can restore that back as well. If a file has been overwritten, well, why don't you look for the version that was before then? So if you changed a file on a Thursday, then maybe go back to the backup that took place on the Wednesday because that's the version before that file was overwritten. So what if you need to recover your entire Mac? You can easily do this as well with your Time Machine backups. So whether your Mac itself has stopped working and all the data has been lost or you've reinstalled the operating system, or whether you've even got yourself a brand new Mac, you can actually use your Time Machine backup to restore all of the data to this current Mac or to this new Mac. You plug it in and then you start the recovery of Mac OS and then you can actually select to restore or build your computer from your Time Machine backup. So Time Machine does work great as long as your Time Machine backups are working great and the data is in good condition. What if you need to restore some data and perhaps your Time Machine has gotten corrupted? What if you've lost some data on your Time Machine backup? What if your hard drive has gone missing and you need to recover some files? What do you do there? Well, I recommend using Stellar's data recovery software where you can actually recover data from your Mac that has been deleted or lost. So all you gotta do is go to the Stellar website, download the free copy of the software, install it onto your Mac, scan your hard drive, and then recover your files that way. So we've covered a lot of material on this video. We've covered how to set up your Time Machine backups, back up your Mac to an external hard drive, restoring data, and if all else fails, looking at Stellar to be able to recover your files that way. Thank you so much for spending the time. Please also like and comment and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of the future video releases. Thank you, we'll see you next time.